What's up guys? It's May 3rd, 2024. Pretty nice day. A lot of range. Three legs up, three legs down, three legs up. Yeah, shit was pretty crazy too. I was not expecting this by the close rally. I miss all of that. That's crazy. Um, where are we on the power time frame? Car time frame, breakout, wedge. And now we're starting to go more sideways. Give me two seconds. So yeah, I'm starting to go more sideways. Kind of have a double top, a higher high double top. This is the daily, this is the 45 minute. April 1st was the last swing high. We kind of went set, it looks like that was a magnet and then we broke down. Yesterday was an outside bar. Today, bulls didn't really, they had a bullish close, but the daily was not bullish. It didn't close bullish on the daily chart. Bulls definitely wanted that follow through bar because now we don't know is this the high of a range or is this the or is this breakout follow through? Uh, I say breakout because it's a outside bar, so we broke out of this bar's range. But the follow through is really bad. Okay, we have a gap up here. Finish with a by the close rally gap up bar one no continuation. Bar two is sideways. Bar three traps bulls who bought the high of bar two. We rallied to the high of bar one. Sell orders. I think there are more sellers than buyers. We're very, we're super extended away from the EMA. And at the time, we were the EMA was more like down here. So this this pulled into the price. Uh, yeah, pulled into the bars. So we were way further away from the EMA than just how it looks. So bulls are trapped at highs. I think there are more sellers. Maybe buyers waiting at the EMA. Buyers waiting here. Right at the breakout. Bar four, nasty looking bar, rejection at yesterday's high. Good place to look for reversals is yesterday's high, yesterday's low. Bar six is follow through. Bar seven, we rally testing the high of bar one and sell back lower. There's a leg right there. There's a bull leg right there. Bar eight is an inside bar. The low of bar seven is 97. The low of bar eight. Oh, it's not an inside bar. Bar eight traveled one tick below bar seven. Bar nine, good bar for the bulls. However, I think it's a pullback. We have uh, one, two, three, four bars, four bears. This is a micro channel for the bears. Bar 11, bad for the bulls. Looks like, a, excuse me, bad for the bears. It looks like a pullback. Bars 11, 12, and 13, and it becomes a pullback. It's a bear flag. Looks like they're going for a test of yesterday's close. That's uh, seven, even, no, what is that? 07.00, oh, seven zero zero, whatever number, 5,307. Then bears get a leg lower here. Really strong breakout. I think this is good for a second leg. You know, leg one, pull back leg two, and the market goes sideways. Look at bar 15, how far it penetrates past. You know, I, I don't like these crosshairs. How do I turn them off? I'm not a fan of these crosshairs all of a sudden because I'm using the mouse. It's annoying me. If I can't find it here, I'll, the tomorrow's video will be better. How do I do it? Try to see. Sorry, I just, it's, 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 I'm trying to show you guys the wicks and that cross. All right, whatever. I got to look for it later. So yeah, this, where are we? I lost my shit. Like what? Breakout, Sean breakout. Look at this bar, six, 16, how much is penetrating below the EMA. Most of the bars below the EMA and it has really strong follow through. Weak pullback for the bulls from here to here. Bar 18. Bad for the bears. However, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six bar, one, two, three, four, five bars trending lower without a pullback. So I think it's natural to go sideways for a little bit. We are getting extended away from the EMA. We can have a leg one, pullback leg two. Market goes sideways. We have a double top bear flag here with lower highs. Bulls have a leg one, pullback leg two, pullback leg three. Wedge top from bar the low of 20 to the high of 24. Three pushes up and that sells off with 25. And then we have another leg one, leg two move by the bulls. <clears throat> Excuse me. Leg one, pull back, leg two. The bar is 25 and 27. Pull back for the bear, bulls with 26. And then another leg higher with the for the bulls. 29 creates a low two for the bears. So this, I hope I said that right. So this is a bear flag, lower high, double top sellers at the EMA. I think there are more buyers sitting around here. Bulls have been buying the EMA whenever they could. 
Bulls like to buy the EMA. They did that again today. Get kind of a climactic leg, bear shine break below the EMA. However, it goes more sideways, and then they get a fractal leg one, deep leg one from the high of 39 to the low of 41, pull back from the low of 41 to the high of 42, and then another leg two here. So uh, 45 is testing this breakout. 75 is low, is 48 even. 45 is low, is 46.75. So 40. Wait, let me do the math. So, so the low is 48 even here. The low is 46.75. So this is higher than that. So this penetrated. So what is this? So this is 46. So this tested more of these two bars. It went a couple ticks below 75 and reversed. And then we had a bullish close. Not a strong bullish close. Not good for the bears though. With this much selling, you would think the bears want to get lower here. 46, 47, 48, 49, 15, 51 become a buy close rally. And you got to think about the context if you're looking to get short after the first pullback, first gap bar. Is this a pullback? Six bars in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a really strong bull rally. I think that's strong enough to get a second leg. And it does like one pullback, like two. If this is a high two, it's a trap because it's coming at worst price. So this is also a small pullback bull trend. It's also going sideways. So you got to think, how do you want to play this? It's usually better to buy with limit orders. I didn't. I uh, bought the high of 54 and held and I got pinged out at break even right here. I was I took this leg lower and this leg lower and I was doing it for the day so I wasn't really willing to give up profits so I'm gonna break even here got pinged out and then leg one pull back to two deep pull back into the EMA trapping bears with 74 and the market goes higher closing really strong bar 78 far away from the EMA so sideways price action ended up being a range day it started out like a bear trend day but then as the price developed it became a range day the market cycle Reversal are a form of a breakout. <clears throat> so we have a breakout, pullback, and then we start the channel. And then from the channel phase, we go range bound. We have a double bottom, and the market goes range bound. Big down, big up. You can say the market cycle resets here. That's kind of how I like to look at it. Leg one, leg one, deep pullback, leg two, or leg one, pullback, leg two, pullback, leg three, creates a wedge bottom. You can say this is a push down, double bottom. Many reasons to get out here. Even I, I got out here when I got, took this leg, so I thought we were going to bounce quickly. It is what it is. Hope you guys are doing good. I appreciate you guys dropping comments. I'm enjoying these. Hope you guys are learning. Keep it up, guys. Keep using your stop loss. Don't drink and drive. Have a good one, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.